गुरवे गौरचंद्राय राधिकाईस्तदाल कृष्णाय कृष्ण भक्ताय सद्भक्ताय नमो नम निनंदवशदीप यदुगोपालनंदन गौर प्रेम प्रचारक वंदे मदन गोपाल जयनिताई हरिबोल today i'll describe the second part of prema bhakti chandrika that day last day it was the first part where narottam das thakur he just described about guru tatva today we'll listen she'll describe about what we have to do in our bhajan path so how we can develop our mood our uh, intelligence for our spiritual practice consciousness for our bhajan so here narottam das thakur he says anno obhilasho chari gyano karma parihari काय मने करीब भजन साधु संगे कृष्ण सेवा ना पुजीब देवी देवा भक्ति परम कारण जस्ट कट वन श्लोक फ्रम भक्ति रसामृत सिंधु ग्रंथ बील रूपा गोस्वामी पद दैट श्लोक इज अन्याभिलाषित शून्यम ज्ञान कर्म दनावृत आनुकूल कृष्णानुशील भक्ति नरतम दास ठाकुर ही जस्ट डिस्क्राइब दैट श्लोक हियर इन बेंगली अन्न अभिलाष छी ज्ञान कर्म परिहरि काय मन कर भजन वी मस्ट इरेज जस्ट रिमूव all the different desire except krishna we have to develop only that desire in our heart for krishna seva so there is the question arise here if we are living all other desire then how we can maintain because we are grihastha we have family we have to maintain our family life we have to protect our children we have to take care of our parents so how we can manage all those duties in our life nartham das taku he mentioned that yes if you have strong faith on krishna if you have really attachment for krishna so krishna will do everything for you she will manage everything for your life because krishna has such promise to everyone shakri deva prapanno jatavasmi ti cha jachate अभय सर्वदा तस्म ददा मे तद्रत मम इफ एनी वन टुक सेल्टर ऑन मी वंस फ्रॉम हिज शर्ट इन हिज लाइफ सो इट्स माय ड्यूटी टू प्रोटेक्ट हिम फ्रॉम एवरी साइड सो इट्स इफ वी कैन फॉलो दिस वर्ड because he is achuta he never uh, fall down from his words his promises so if we just faith if we have faith on his words so he can manage everything for our life that's why narottam das thakur he said first remove all the different desire for this material world if you have strong faith if 
your mind is focused if your love is only for krishna then krishna will manage everything for you so first remove all the different desire from your heart then start to worship krishna that means offer your love to krishna then krishna will look at you and in your practice you must be careful about that that your practice it's only on the path of bhakti it should not cover by jnana karma all those different activities but it is also said that um, if it is supporting of your bhakti path that means uh, if some practices from jnana and karma is supporting your bhakti to develop bhakti in your heart so you can accept that but must be careful that it should not cover your bhakti don't forget your path is bhakti path so your consciousness your practice must be connected with bhakti because we are uh, accepting so many things from different path like from jnana and karma we are doing meditation pranayamas so it's all the parts of jnana and karma but we are accepting because it's uh, developing uh, developing it's supporting to develop bhakti inside of our heart so we must be careful about that all those different practices should not cover our bhakti in our heart our bhakti must be developed in any way for only for krishna anno abhilasho chari gyano karma porihari kai mone koribo bhagwan and our worship must be in three way in dama bandhan lila maya shoda she teaches us how to worship krishna in three way and there it said in dama bandhan lila maya shoda she was thinking about krishna because krishna is sleeping any time he will wake up and he will come and she has to feed krishna and long time she didn't see krishna near to her so she was thinking about krishna at the same time she was doing work for krishna she was churning the yogurt because uh, the great butter will appear at the early morning great butter she can collect from that yogurt if she churn it so by herself she was doing this for krishna and at the same time she was singing all the songs which was sung by the all uh, local uh, poets local singers they just uh, composed all those songs it's based on the very beautiful play of krishna with his friends she was singing and in that way she was thinking about krishna it's mental seva she was singing about krishna so it's bachik that means by speech and at the same time physically she was churning the yogurt so three way together we have to worship krishna then we can tie krishna inside of our heart then krishna will be attracted by our activities by our bhakti by our love and she will come to us she will be uh, he will be very merciful to us so kai mone koribo bhajan nartam das ta ko he just remind us you have to serve krishna in that way like mother yashoda like all the great devotees ei bhakti param karan if we want to really develop bhakti inside of our heart then we have to follow this all path maha janer jei patho tahe hobo anurato purva par koriya vichar 
সাধন স্মরণ লীলা ইহাতে না করো হেলা কায় মনে করিয়া সুসার হাউ ইউ হ্যাভ টু ক্রিয়েট আওয়ার কনসিয়াসনেস আওয়ার ইন্টেলিজেন্স বিকজ ফর আওয়ার প্র্যাকটিস উই নিড সাম নলেজ সাম ইন্টেলিজেন্স মাস্ট বি দেয়ার উইদাউট উইদাউট নলেজ উই ক্যানট গো উই ক্যানট ট্রাভেল ইন এনি পার্ট দেয়ার মাস্ট বি সাম নলেজ সো দ্যাটস ওয়াই মহাজনের যেই পথ উই শুড নট সার্চ এ নিউ পার্ট everything is described there by our ancestor previous acharyas purva par kuriya vichar here that purva and para very nicely it is described that who is before sriman mahaprabhu all the devotees who attain who serve krishna in different mood like bilamangal thakur and some others uh there before simon mahaprabhu and para that means after after mahaprabhu that means six goswamis mainly six goswamis eight goswamis they attain that krishna seva with a very beautiful manjari mood given by sri krishna chaitanya prabhu to us to all the living entities here in kali yuga to all the human beings in kali yuga so we must follow that and we should see what was their uh, realization what was their path to follow because bilam mangal thakur he attained sakhi bhav but we should not forget that there are also some um, another like uh, the rishis rishis described in uh, ramayana dandakaran uh, they uh, want to get uh, ramachandra as their beloved as, as their lover so ramachandra was very pleased to them and he promised not me but after me swam bhagwan krishna will appear in this world and he will fulfill your desire so all those rishis of dandakaran thousands of races they attained in rasleela but they had special mood only for krishna they had love for krishna they want to get krishna as their husband as their lover and also some other uh, races some other sadhakas also um, described in <coughs> brihad baman puran you know they also attain that sakhi bhav that means they also want krishna as their lover but if we just compare that taste without shrimati radharani kripa no one can attain krishna completely if we just see the mood of manjaris so the manjaris they the angaja they are known as angaja of shrimati radharani that means they are also appeared from the body of shrimati radharani angaja means who appeared from the body that's why manjari is the same mood like shrimati radharani but in favor of shrimati radharani they have no different love for krishna that is their special mood so we must know that purva and para that before saman mahaprabhu after saman mahaprabhu who attained krishna in which mood and then we can follow uh, the best path and that is manjari bhav ashta goswami six goswamis they attained that manjari mood and it was uh, delivered by saman mahaprabhu to all the kali people we must follow that path so it is the switch সাধন স্মরণ লীলা ইহাতে না করো হেলা কায় মনে করিয়া সুসার অ্যান্ড ইন দ্যাট মুড হোয়াট এভার ইট ইজ দেয়ার ইনসাইড অফ ইউর হার্ট ইট ডিপেন্ডস অন ইউর ডিজায়ার বেস্ট ইজ মঞ্জারি মুড বাট মে বি সামটাইমস ইট উইল অ্যাপিয়ার দ্যাট প্যারেন্টাল মুড বাৎসল্যভাব সামটাইমস ইট উইল অ্যাপিয়ার 
ఫ్రెండ్లి మూడ్ సఖ్య భావ సో వీ మస్ట్ ఎంగేజ్ అవర్ సెల్ఫ్ బై మైండ్ బై లీలా స్మరణ్ యు నో దెర్ ఇస్ ధ్యాన ఆల్సో స్మరణ్ ధ్యాన ఆల్సో వన్ పార్ట్ ఆఫ్ స్మరణ్ దెర్ ఇస్ ఫైవ్ డిఫరెంట్ పార్ట్ హియర్ ఇట్ ఇస్ సైడ్ అబౌట్ స్మరణ్ five different part that is very nice it is described smaran anudhyan lila smaran dhyan and dhruva smriti smaran dharana dhyan dhruvanu smriti and samadhi this five part of smaran it is said that my uh, five part uh, part is smaran and what is smaran in that five part only just by your mind you are searching a little bit about krishna and krishna lila that is smaran and what is dharana that means consciousness to take away your mind from all different things from this material world and focus only to krishna that is known as dharana what is dhyan in a special way just meditate about the form of krishna and his associates what is dhruvanu smriti that means continuous meditation that means it is uh, there is two kinds of smaran we know in our bhajan also there is madhusneha madhudhara and dugdhadhara madhudhara means there is no break in the line but in dukta dhara there will be so many gaps so not with the gaps when your mind always in every moment will engage in krishna it's known as dhruvanu smriti and when only by just starting your meditation you will get that swarup in your heart that is samadhi so sadhana sharana lila you have to follow that path of smaran it's our best that means the ultimate practice but to attain that stage in our life we have to follow before this all practices nama smaran nama kirtan reading granthas books uh deity seva and slowly by all these practices we can attain that stage of smarana that means smaran dharana uh dhyana dhruvanu smriti and samadhi this all stage will appear in our heart and we should not ignore that we must be very careful to follow that now about the association asat sang karo tyag charo anno anurag kormi gyani pori hori dure kebolo bhakata sang prem katha rasarang lila katha prajo rasapure association is the most important part of our life what is the best association for our life Narottam Das Thakur says that Kevala Bhakta Sangha Kevala means Uttama Bhakta There is three categories Bhakta, Vaishnava Uttama Bhakta, Madhyama Bhakta 
अधमा भक्त वी मस्ट एसोसिएट विद द उत्तम भक्त फ्रॉम होम वी कैन गेट दैट थिंग्स अबाउट कृष्ण भजन फॉर कृष्ण वी मस्ट अटेन बाय हुज सपोर्ट बाय हुज सपोर्ट दे आर द उत्तम भक्त सो वी मस्ट फॉलो देम देयर फुटप्रिंट्स देयर एडवाइस दे विल सपोर्ट आवर माइंड they will support our heart to develop krishna consciousness in our heart in our mind our intelligence will be very pure then by their association and we must leave all the association of ashata who is ashat here to whom narottam das thakur he mentioned as ashat all those people who is cheater in this material world thief the robber no they are not really ashat for us because maybe by their activity by cheating by stealing some things by doing robbery by taking some things from us by force so in that way we we'll lose some things from for this material world from this material world but if we are associating with some person who is against the mentality of krishna so they will still our that great consciousness of krishna they'll remove krishna bhakti from our heart they'll take away all the attachment for krishna from our heart so we must be very careful about all those sangha we must be very sincere about those sangha so who has against mentality of krishna and also nowadays we can see the followers that means the associates of kali maharaj associates of sukracharya they are coming to us as devotee as vaishnava in the dress of devotee in the dress of vaishnava so we cannot recognize and slowly they are stealing all our good consciousness consciousness about krishna of krishna love for krishna and after some time we'll find ourselves in the material world we are so engaged here in this material world so we must be careful about our association because our surroundings it's making our heart our intelligence our mood so we must be careful about that kormi gyani porihori dure here narottam das thakur again he remind us do not associate who is so much engaged with karma kandiyas who are the karmis who are very dry who are always engaged with gyanas and yogas because their heart really dry so if something dry it's coming to a place if you just uh, take one sponge and you just put it in the water the sponge will soak all the water so dry is always trying to get the juice the liquid so if you are associating with the with the dry herbs who are yogis and gyanis and karmis who has no love actually no devotion pure devotion in their heart for krishna so they'll suck they'll soak our all beautiful love for krishna from our heart and our heart will, will be dry by associating by association with them so we must be careful about that kebolo bhagat sangho prem kathar sarango we must associate with pure devotees and not only that association we will get so many association in our life 
the best association we are getting so many association of pure devotees we are getting so many association with pure vaishnavas but we are not really using those moments will be there with him how we can get the benefits of their association that's nartam das takur says premo katha rasarango lila katha braj rasapure in samad bhagavata it is said whenever we will go to the devotees pure devotees pure vaishnavas to sri gurudev we must ask such things which is beneficial for our life for our betterness tasmad guru prapadyet jigyashu shreyo uttamam when you are asking to a great vaishnava he is also guru shiksha guru and diksha guru is always guru so from whom you will get something in your life you must know that the best association they are the shiksha guru of your life so when will be there in front of very pure devotee very pure heart so we must ask about all the leelas of sri krishna what he performed in braja and in all other places how he deliver his pure love to his devotees how he was so merciful to all his devotees all his sadhakas so it will create our mind it will create our intelligence it will be most beneficial for our life so that's why not only the association of the pure devotees we must ask them the for betterness for our life about prema katha rasaranga the sweet lila katha of krishna yogi nyashi kormi gyani anno dev pujak dhyani ei lok dure porihori karmo dharmo dukha shog jeba thake anno jog chhari bhajo giri bharodari giri borodhari from whom we should be separated we should not go to them or we should not associate with them he mentioned one by one yogi who are following the path of yogas we can get we can accept some part of yoga but if we are associating always with them then they'll change our mind and mood in that path of yoga same way nyashi who are following all those part mayavadi sanyasis we should not associate with them karmi who has this desire to attain sarga swarga and they are uh, following the path of karma they are doing so many things uh so many activities like fire sacrifice and all other rituals to attain swarga that shuk so we must be careful about them we should not associate with them gyani who are always searching about brahma whose mind is engaged with brahma we should not associate with them and anno deva pujak who are worshiping other demigods not krishna not nithai gauranga but the other all other demigods like fire like moon so because they are consciousness with them so they will try to make our heart like them also so we should be very careful about them and dhyani dhyani means their consciousness always following and 
attached with this material world. Their meditation is not connected with Krishna. Their meditation is not connected with the service of Krishna. They are thinking, they are desiring only to attain some material bliss in their life. So, we must go away from all those associations. We must be careful about their influence in our life. Karmo dharmo dukkha shok jeva thake anna jog chari bhajo giri varo dhari Karmo We are connected and from the beginning of our life always we want some pious credits in our life. So we are trying to follow the path of karmas and will attain that punya. Dharma, we are following according to our varana and ashram, that dharma is the path. We must know dharma and religion is not the same. Religion is the path, but dharma is dharma. The religion is not the perfect word in English about dharma. Dharma is eternal, the main thing, sanatan. So the religion, the part, we should not follow the other path, only the path of bhakti. We should follow the path of bhakti. And but at the beginning, we have to follow Varnasram Dharma according to our Varna, according to our Ashrama, because we know there is four Ashrama Brahmacharya, Garhastha, Vanaprastha, Sanyas. We must follow according to our age and according to our Dharma, we must follow all those Varna and Ashrama. Whatever Anna Yoga, whatever will come, because in our life we'll get so many relations. The yoga, so many relations as friend, as family members, wife, father, mother, brother, sister. So whatever is there, all those relations, what is your dharma and ashram? What is your Past credits, how much you have in your heart, it's not so important. You must focus your mind to worship Giridhari because he used this word Giridhari. He can protect and he can do anything to protect all his devotees. To prove that, he used this word Giri Bharadhari, he used not Krishna or any other word for Krishna. He used this word Giri Bharadhari, just think about his that beautiful Lila to save all the Brajvasis, to save all the living entities in Braj from that uh, anger of Indra. He took, he took Giriraj, Govardhan on his finger. So he can do anything to save, to protect his devotees, his followers. So we must be careful about that. We must think and we must remember about all his Leelas, about all his Kripa in our life. And we follow to worship that path with Bhakti, to worship Sri Giriraj, Sri Giriwaradhari, that means Sri Krishna. Now, he is mentioning some things very important about our consciousness. Tirtha yatra parishram kevalo munir bhram sarbo shiddhi govinda charan drirha vishas haride dhuri mada matsarya puri hari sadakara ananya bhajan. 
this word we must be very careful ananya bhajan ananya means no anya not other we should not worship other than krishna we must worship krishna and only krishna not other demigods because sometimes in front of us because of our greed because of our need our heart and our mind will be attracted by other demigods yes uh, if we'll go to um, lakshmi will go get wealth from saraswati will get intelligence knowledge wisdom from other demigods protection benefits so our mind are catching this all things you know because we are greedy naturally we are greedy who are here in this world in this material world all of us we are really very greedy always we are searching about our benefits we are always thinking about our profit and loss if there is profit then we will go there if there is no profit we will not go there so that's the point that's the point we should not search about all those things we must be develop such consciousness only for krishna no anya bhajan so how we have to do that we have to prepare our mind we have to prepare our consciousness in that way that in our heart there is so much knowledge and uh, so much consciousness about different things which is not perfect we are thinking only by visiting the pilgrims will get so many things in our life but it is not true you know nartam das ko he mentioned that tirtha yatra parishram kevalo moner brahm yes if you want to visit the tirthas yes you can visit like brindavan bridge you just you can do braj yatra you can visit navadip dham you can visit puri dham which will develop your krishna consciousness only we can follow all those tirthas only we can visit all those tirthas not the other tirthas because there is so many tirthas in 64 bhajan path there is uh, 64 part of our bhajan bhajananga 64 bhajananga 64 part of our bhajan one is tirtha vasha so it is beneficial to stay to live in tirtha but there is also another consciousness there is also another thing in one hand tirtha vasha is beneficial for us anyhow we'll get some blessings from uh, tirtha raj from krishna if we are going to puri dham we'll get blessings from jagannath little bit if we'll visit sridham navadip we'll get kripa from gauranitananda if we are visiting braj we'll get kripa from srimati radharani it's the basic kripa the basic blessings in our life but there is also other in other hand there is so many things we must uh think before we'll go there we must prepare our mind and heart about that where we are going it's not a other places to visit that here Switzerland is a very beautiful place to see the nature and so many beautiful mountains you can see behind me very beautiful mountains are here also if this is beneficial for us no yes we'll get some material pleasure in our heart but it's not connected with krishna yes it will be beneficial if only to look this mountain 
if my mind is remind giriraj govardhan oh giriraj govardhan then it will be beneficial if only to see the river if my mind is remind that oh river yamuna river ganga so maybe some benefits also will get from there but the point we are not really preparing our heart and mind before we are visiting the tirthas very nice story in shrimad bhagavat the story of maharaj rohugan and jalabhar maharaj rohugan he was visiting all the pilgrims the tirthas only to think about that oh my life is end now it's very near to end so i must attain bhagavat kripa bhagavan kripa and how so the scholars they said okay maharaj just visit all the pilgrims so you can attain that blessings of all tirthas and you'll you can attain bhagavat kripa in your life so maharaj start to visit in between he met jarabhar and he realized this person jarabhar that brahman this brahman is a very scholar one so he can show me the real path and he asked then jarabhar he asked to rohugan rohugan for what you are visiting all the pilgrims to attend the bhagavat kripa do you think in that way by visiting all the pilgrims all the tirthas you can attend bhagavat kripa then maharaj rohugan he asked if not then how we can attain yarabharat said कर्म you cannot attain bhagavat kripa not by go to the forest and not even in in your house not by reciting vedas all the mantras there is only one way you know rohan yes not even by the following very tough all brothers you cannot attain bhagavat kripa there is only one way bina mahat pad ra jo khushi kam if you take shelter to the lotus feet of pure devotees only by their kripa bhakta pada rajo bhakta pada jal bhakta bhukta vashesh teen mahapal only by their blessings by their mercy you can attain bhagavat kripa in your life so we are visiting all the tirthas but our consciousness is not really developed and we are not preparing our mind before we will go there so we are not developing real respect shraddha in our heart for the pilgrims for the tirthas that's why in every step we will perform such some offenses against that holy dham so before you will go there before we will visit all those holy places we must prepare our heart and mind our intelligence our consciousness that we are not visiting a general place a normal place that place can give me krishna bhakti when we will develop such consciousness in our heart then the visiting of tirthas will be beneficial for us in our life so that nartham das tagore he says before you will visit develop your consciousness otherwise you can visit so many tirthas 
but nothing will happen no result will come no blessings of mercy will come for, from the teachers from the holy places so it will be just wasting your time energy and money it's just a misconception in your heart that only by visiting holy places you can attain bhagavat kripa krishna kripa krishna bhakti but also visiting tirtha places there is some little bit benefits but if your mind is prepared developed and if you have kripa from your guru the greatest vaishnavas then all the tirthas are really beneficial for you দৃঢ় বিশ্বাস হৃদয় করি মদমাৎসর্য পরিহরি সদা কর অন্য অনন্য ভজন উ আর ফলোইং দ্য পাথ অফ ভক্তি বাট উ আর নট রিয়েলি কন্ট্রোলিং আওয়ার আর্জেস উইচ ইস ইন সাইট অফ ফার্স দ্য ইট ইস সেট সো মেনি থিংস অ্যাবাউট আওয়ার এনিমিস দে নোন এস এনিমিস উইল কাম লেটার অ্যাবাউট অল দোস এনিমিস Madhamat Sajya Purihuri First we have to remove all the false egos from our heart because uh, inside of us there is so many false egos which is connected with this material world I am very rich what you will do with all those money you cannot take even one penny with you when you'll go your ultimate destination when you'll die so nothing will go from this world here so then where will be that pride i'm very rich yes you must be rich by your krishna consciousness then you can say i'm a real rich because i have krishna bhakti in my heart i'm very wealthy with krishna prema that time you'll not say the other will say yes that person is really very rich and wealthy because he has krishna bhakti krishna prema in his heart another pride i'm a very scholar i know everything no it's not possible in our life we cannot get all knowledge yes there is only one way we can get all the other knowledge inside of our heart only by the blessings if we can realize the truth of krishna krishna tattva there is a nice story behind this will come later another day so we have to just remove all the false ego from our heart and another most important thing we have to completely remove from our heart that is envy it's the great blockage in our bhakti path if we have that matsarya that means envy it will destroy everything because where there is envy love is not possible in that heart only to see this material world that oh that people this people is very rich than me is very scholar than me and we will appear inside of our heart but we must be careful we have to just remove erase everything all those false ego all those envy from our heart then we can go forward we can advance go advance in our bhajan path in our bhakti path otherwise it will block our bhajan our practice and will never go forward if we have false pride false ego if we have uh, envy in our heart so will never go forward even one step in our bhakti path it's not possible narottam das taku many times he remind in prem bhakti chandrika to us about some things 
about those urges be careful about your false ego and your envious enviness be careful about your association we must be very careful about that we must only associate with the devotees pure devotees who is open minded without any envy because envious heart will never deliver it you deliver you pure love never because envy is like fire and it's only burning the love prema in your heart it will remove all the love all the attachment from your heart so what we have to do कृष्ण भक्त संग करी कृष्ण भक्त अंग हेरी श्रद्धान्वित श्रवण कीर्तन अर्चन शरण ध्यान नव भक्ति महाज्ञान यही भक्ति परम कारण वी मस्ट एसोसिएट उथ द्योर डिवोटिस क्या एगेन हिज रिमाइंडर्स नरतन दास ठाकुर अबाउट हर एसोसिएशन and he reminded us in a very beautiful way two times he said the same word if we are associating that means we are looking to each other i can see you you can see me then why narottam das thakur he again he reminded remind that krishna bhakta angohari when will associate with krishna devotees so i can see him and he can see me no not that we must see his real form as devotees most of the time we'll visit to the great person like great vaishnava great saint we're just wasting our time to talk some material words material topics with him that means we are wasting the time and then if we are just asking material questions and everything the krishna bhakta they are very very clever you know always they are trying to hide themselves but we have to catch them we have to we have to catch their attention to us we have to show that we are really very fallen we need his help his, his support for our life so that's why before we'll meet any great saint great vaishnava our gurudev we must prepare maybe we should write which is beneficial for our life we should ask or we should try to get if there is no question don't ask anything just look at him just take darshan and try to feel who is in front of me he is a very nearest person of sri krishna he is a very intimate person of krishna he is a very pure devotee and from him i can attain krishna bhakti by his mercy by his blessing do not don't need to ask anything to him just look at him without any blink and uh, just take his darshan but do not waste your time to associate with those person who is great who is great mahatmas and at the same time try to feel their blessings in your heart always we are doing some mistakes when we'll be in front of some great vaishnava great devotee in our gurudev just go to them offering pranam and we are asking please gurudev bless me no we should not do that so my dear friends 
we must be careful we must follow the words what nartam das thakur said we'll continue this prema bhakti chandrika katha next is hari bol jai nita